You somewhat had a quick turnaround being that you just fought Kraus at the Fight for the Troops card. How was uh, the feeling for you in this training camp and getting prepared? Um, just right back to work. And I felt like I got like two family days, you know. I got to see my son for two days. I went out to the military to do some autograph signings and, and a seminar for them. And then I was right back at work, so I just needed a vacation, you know. It was, it was very tough, but I felt like so many people got on me and, and was calling me all these names and, and making fun of me because of the last fight. So I felt like I wanted to do something important, give, the, give my fans something else that they could remember me by, not a bad fight, you know. Do you feel like you did that? There was a little bit of booing going on when the decision was read. Uh, how did you feel with that feeling going on at the crowd? Um, I think there was mixed feelings because... Pat, has, Pat is such a, uh, a vet in this game, you know. Um, but I felt I landed more. I felt like I was being the, the more uh, significant striker and shut his game down. He wasn't able to hit me as much. Was there any doubt in your mind, though, when they, when you were waiting for the decision? Um, I thought I did I thought I did fine, you know. Um, it, it really doesn't matter. I leave it up to God. If, if I don't win, I'm not one of those people that's going to cry over spill milk. It sucks to lose, but whatever God chooses is whatever God chooses. I can't change what, what he has planned for me. It's a grueling affair. Um, on the feet, you mentioned, um, you know, you can talk about how you feel you were a significant uh, striker. Um, what, what was it on the feet that you felt was your best uh, best accomplishment? Was it, was it establishing the jab? Because that seemed to lead uh, lead you throughout the fight. Yeah, yeah. Um, popped that jab on him a lot, you know. Um, I was getting some good uh, uppercuts and hooks in there as he was missing and making a miss and coming at him. So... I don't know what the, how really if I answered your question. Sure, I was just you know curious what you felt your your biggest tool was. This is such a stacked card, Mike. That I think this is an I would say my job, you know, um, being faster than him, he had beaten him to the punch. Okay. Looking at Pat, he's he's a grinder. He can you know go through adversity and hang in there. He did that tonight. Was it ever discouraging that you didn't really make him well? Man, I knew that. Um, I did an interview. I explained that that Pat is like a Terminator. He can take everything you give him and keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, and hopefully he'll break you. And I just wasn't gonna let him break me. Three on the UFC. What's next for you? What's next? Vacation. I miss my family. You know, I want to go back and, and do some things with them. I miss my son. I miss my wife. You know, so I just want to sit down and relax and be able to watch some other fights and be a part of the the UFC culture. You know, make some new fans and friends. Two of the judges scored a 30-20. Third round, I think, was Pat's best round. Um, talk about your gas in the third round. I mean, did you feel like you you faded at all? Um, I felt a little like I was getting a little bit tired there. Um, I didn't, I don't, like you said, it was short notice. I really didn't get to prepare like I normally prepare. Um, I think things were a little rushed this camp. Um, but I felt like the third round was the most, more my significant round, except for when he got on top and got those last hurrahs, you know. But it is what it is. A successful start to your UFC career, 3 0. Uh, at the Wayans, you were handing out the, the crowns and whatnot. Do you feel like uh, you have the potential to be a marketable fighter here in the UFC? Do I have the potential? <laughs> let, I'll let those fans pick that. Um, I'm just being me, you know, just being me to the max, just doing what I do. And what I try to do is I try to impact people, I try to make people remember this day. Remember this day that I was there at the show, and he grabbed me, and he touched me, you know. He gave me something that I'll never forget that day that that guy came by and hugged me, you know. And I just want to leave them with a memory. Speaking of uh, leaving people with memories, uh, when you're in there with Pat Healy, I know you were, uh, was it a one-way conversation, or did he actually respond to you when you were uh, talking to him inside the cage? <laughs> he said one thing. He said, I said, um, come on, like, we're just getting started. And he said, well, stop running. <laughs> that was one thing he said, and that let me know that that was bothering him, that he couldn't touch me, and I just kept using it to my advantage. It was making him chase, making him miss, making him miss. Um, it's just what it is. It's so good to see you, bro. Hey, you come a long way, bro. I mean, dude, I, I know. I man, it's so page. good to see you. I was in you. Afghanistan for a year, man. Wow, yeah, wow. I, remember your, uh, I was in Afghanistan watching your UFC debut, dude. I, I, I probably cried. I probably cried. Dude. <laughs> cry. I'm so happy for you, bro. Hey, I'm glad. No, I'm happy for you. Man, thank you. Thank you. So was this victory all, all the more sweeter because of what happened in the last fight with James? Yes, yes. Um, that's the whole reason I did it. You know, um, I wanted to go sit down and take a vacation, let everyone else fight and, and watch and be a spectator for once, you know, but I just didn't like it. I had mothers calling me like, you scumbag, you dirty fighter. And I'm like, what? I'm not that type of guy, you know? So I, I just kept, got, I got tired of talking to people. And every time you ask the person, oh, what about the kick? 
what about the kick? What about the kick? I felt it was legal. I felt it was legal. I felt it was legal. So I was just like, let's get this out of the way. Let's get it past this fight and just keep moving on, you know? If this fight was a statement about who Bobby Green is, what, what is the statement coming out of this fight with Pat Hill? Bobby Green's a showman. Bobby Green's a, um, a fight of the night fighter. I go out there to entertain. I don't do anything for myself. I do it for the crowd. What do the crowd want to see? Some guys get out there, stand up, and beat each other up. And that's what we try to do as much as possible. You know, um, unfortunately, I think I have this stigma with wrestlers that I get these wrestlers all the time, you know. And when I did get a striker, as in James Krause, I messed that up. <laughs> so I still haven't been able to showcase my true skills. Um, it was just an exciting fight. So when you see, when you expect to see me, expect to see exciting fights. So how long of a vacation do you want to take? Hey. So my body heals, you know, I don't know. Uh, let me go back and see how everything's interacting, you know. There's a couple things that I'm like, whoa, I shouldn't have took so many punches trying to keep my hands down and do all this stuff to entertain. Uh, I just like to show out for the crowd. Thank you, Thank you guys. You guys are awesome.